um, uh, summary of what we are about, uh, crowd analytics, because it is a new concept. And I uh, just want to quickly explain that to you guys. We now have a community of data scientists. As Richard mentioned, uh, this is a scarce resource. We have people across 50 countries. Uh, more than 3,000 of them uh, are now aggregated on our platform and are available for us to solve any data analytics problems. Now, uh, there are problems that uh, are, uh, you know, as far as the data is concerned, it's clear what you want, the problem definition is right and known. Uh, but there are many problems out there right now because this area is evolving. It's very difficult to know, firstly, how to even define the problem, uh, how to identify which data sources to utilize. If it is the advertising uh, you're talking about, if you want to predict a customer's behavior, which data sources are important? It's, it's, it's not an easy question to answer. Not only that, a data scientist has one perspective. Right? He might be a great uh, guy, but he still has biases. We eliminate those biases by getting the community to compete against each other. So any project held on our platform is, uh, is held as a competition. And you will find hundreds of data scientists competing, independently coming up with solutions. And those, the best of those solutions are then delivered uh, to the customer. Um, so that's, that's our process. Um, we primarily look at public data, because it's, it's uh, most of the data, by the way, the big data that you, you look at, it, most of it is publicly available. And uh, the rest of the transactional data has always been there. So we try to focus on that. There is climate data. There is data on parking lots. There's data on accidents, crimes, um, real estate, social media. All of this data can give you immense amount of knowledge about uh, you know, companies and, and actionable insights. So that's, that's the process.